Hey everybody, so I wanted to give you a quick tip on how to use highlight color in a more effective way. Um, I know that when I go teach in the field, a lot of people say I don't like highlight color because it always pulls warm or um, I don't have time for it because it takes a lot longer to process. But I'm going to show you a real cool trick on how to have high lift hair color work in your favor a lot better. So first off, to understand how to do this trick, we have to understand what high lift is and how it works. So first things first, you need to understand what high lift is and why it exists. So all, just about all manufacturers that manufacture hair color make a high lift color. And the reasoning is, is you always use 30 or 40 volume with them. And when you're using 30 and 40 volume with hair color, not bleach or lightener, typically what happens is that the deposit of the pigment gets lost and it kind of diffuses away. So in high lift, um, that's why we have high lift color. Um, it's usually in a mixing ratio of one to two, so one part cream and one, uh, two parts of your oxidant, which is usually hydrogen peroxide. Um, and in high lift color, there is a lot more NHO3, which is ammonia, typically it's ammonia. There's a lot more of it in the uh, tube of color. So what ammonia does in hair color is it raises a cuticle. So for those of you who don't know what a cuticle is, uh, this is a little diagram. This is an example of a closed cuticle. Closed cuticle. This is in an example of an open cuticle. Um, think of it as like a rose that's blooming, okay? Like it's kind of blooming like that. It's kind of how your hair is. Your hair has this uh, scaly-like outside piece of it. And when it's exposed to a high alkaline chemical, what it does is it starts to open up. Okay, and it allows the color pigments to go into the hair, deep into the cortex of your hair, and um, start doing its job, basically. So this is how um, high lift works. Uh, because we are raising the cutic cuticular layer higher than normal, it allows us to go in there and dissolve more melanin, um, and in turn, let us lift higher, hence the name high lift. So now that we know how it works, we're going to go into some, uh, some um, formulation. Here's an example of a swatch book that you'll probably see in most hair color lines in the back of the books. I use Wella Hair Color. Um, so say for example, we're going to start with a level 5, which is a very common natural starting level. And we want to use high lift hair color to get as light as we're able to get with this specific client's virgin hair. Typically, 4 to 5 levels of lift is the most common. So if you think about starting at level 5, you can go 1, 2, 3, 4. Sometimes people can get to a 5, but honestly, if they're a level 5, sorry, Sometimes they can get to a level 10. If they're a level 5, typically you're going to have so much pigment you're going to have to chew through that you're only going to get probably between um, an 8.5 to a 9. So we've got to start from a 5 and hopefully end up at a 9. What you're going to fight through, as soon as you start lightening the hair, you're going to fight through this red stage, then in this orange stage, then this gold stage, and eventually um, ending up in a yellow stage. So what we're going to do in one formula is we are going to counteract all the opposite of that stuff in one um, formula. Looking at Wella Special Blonde, this is our high lift blonde. We've got 12 stroke zero, so that is not a level 12, that is high lift, meaning 12 is high lift. Zero would be neutral, zero seven would be neutral brown, one is ash, one, and one is ash ash, ash violet, ash brown, so on and so forth. So because our first thing we're going to counteract is going to be red, the majority of our formula is going to be 12 to 2. 12 to 2, if you look at this over here, 2 is going to be represented by green. So we are going to use an intense green high lift to counteract the red we're going to get as soon as we start lightening the hair. Then in our same formula, we're going to just start adding the opposite of this, okay? So this is basically an orange gold. We're going to be using Wella's Special Blonde 12 Stroke 8 1. And over here, 12 Stroke 8, 8 is pearl, that's going to be a blue base. 1 is going to be a gray ash. So that gray ash blue is going to help take care of our second color we're dealing with, which is this orange gold. So we've got majority of our formula is going to be our 12 2 2. We're going to add in, say, maybe three parts of this, two parts of our 12 stroke 8 1 to counteract the orange gold. And then finally, we've addressed this color, we've addressed this color, now we're going to have to deal with the violet, or the yellow, which is the opposite of it, is violet. So in Wella World, we have a couple different options. We can use 12 9 6, 12 6 1, 12 1 6. Personally, I like going for this one. This is going to have more violet and a little bit of ash. So again, looking at our color wheel, or our cheat sheet, uh, violet is going to be 6, and 1 is going to be ash. Essentially, here's that formula written out. We've got three parts of our 12 stroke 2, 2, 
two parts of our 12 stroke 8 one, one part of our 12 stroke 6 one. So this is basically green, blue, violet, all working from a level five going into a level nine. You're gonna use double 30 or double 40 in a one to two mixing ratio. Again, one part of this mixture here of all the color and then two parts of the um, oxidant, which is gonna be our developer. Now, if this, and what this is gonna do is essentially give you a way better uh, time having to do with high lift hair color and you're not gonna ever have that too warm situation. Um, if you are still doing this and it's still finding too warm, the suggestion ratio is one to two, but what happens if you do a one to one ratio, winning one part cream, one part developer? So what happens when you do that situation, you go against manufacturer's um, directions. What happens is you are basically not diluting this color as much, so you'll have a heavier pigment load. So um, again, this is not part of manufacturer's directions according to Weller professionals, but um, thinking outside the box and thinking like an artist, um, if we do a one-to-one -one ratio, we will have a lot more pigment of this. So if you don't need that much pigment, be careful. You might turn someone's hair like green, gray, blue, violet. Um, but if you're finding you're still getting warm, maybe knock the ratio down to a one-to-one -one versus a one-to-two. So I hope this helps you guys. Um, this is something that I was taught years ago, and it has changed my way of looking at high lift color because I was one of those people who always swore it off thinking it always felt too warm. So it's changed my uh, outlook on high lift color. So that's it for today. If there are any questions, please drop them out in the comments below. Um, and if you have any suggested videos you want to see, um, please feel free to comment them. Um, also, I am Angelo Traciano, the owner of Patent Hair Studio in their new location in Ballard of Seattle, Washington. Um, you can book online at www.patenthairstudio.com. Um, and I hope to see you all there in the future.